journey home. Now, you guys might know this song uh, by the verse, actually the chorus. The chorus just repeats this, this line, lost all my money but a $2 bill, $2 bill. A lot of people think that's the name of the song, but it's actually Long Journey Home because the, the melody is lost all my money but a $2 bill, $2 bill, a $2 bill. Lost all my money but a $2 bill. I'm on my long journey home. Right? I'm not doing any claw hammer here. I'm just strumming along randomly. Okay, so let's get started with this song. Fun song. You'll hear this in old time. You'll hear it in bluegrass as well. Um, folk, various folk uh, styles as well. So we're starting with that open fourth string. We pluck that right with the right hand. It's open. By the way, you notice my hand is on my knee. Your hand should never be on your knee when you're getting ready to play a song. It should be over here. My hand's here for the demonstration because I don't need to fret yet. So we're doing that open fourth string, strum, thumb. Okay. Now, of course, your hand would have already been over here because we got to do a hammer on now with our left hand. So we're going to do this. We're going to pluck that open fourth string. Look at my right hand. Pluck. Now look at my left hand. Bam. Just slam that middle finger down on that second fret of the fourth string. So that's our hammer on. Right? That's two notes. It's one pluck with our right hand, the open fourth string. And then the, the second note we create with our middle finger of the left hand coming down on that second fret fourth string. Okay? And then we got a strum thumb. So that entire measure, this is measure one, sounds like this. Oops, take two. Uh huh. Then we go to measure two. Open third string pluck, strum thumb. Again, open third string pluck, strum thumb. So it's. Pluck, strum, thumb, pluck, strum, thumb. Now watch this. Look at my left hand. We're, we've got some left hand flourishes going on here. we got a slide in this measure. We also have hammer-ons. We already did a hammer-on. Uh, we're going to do another one later on. But right now, we're going to be wrestling with this slide, right? Going from the second fret of the third string to the fourth fret of the third string, right? It's, it's important to practice this slide in isolation before you actually try to throw it into the song. Unless you're familiar with this kind of slide and it's not a big deal for you, but uh, for a lot of people, it is, you know, it, it is a little bit of a hurdle. So see if you can just practice it alone. Uh, practice the slide in isolation, that's what I mean. Right, you're gonna slide like that. So it's two distinct beats, right? Bottom, bottom. You also wanna make sure you're pressing hard enough when you slide so you don't lose the resonance of the note. So this doesn't happen. Right. Just kind of disappears, right? You got to press hard because we're moving up the fretboard. That's always what you need to do when you're sliding many frets. Press hard so you don't lose this, the vibration of the strings and you can hear the note still. Okay? So there's your slide. Then when you land on that fourth fret of the third string, you're going to go with the right hand strum thumb, right? So the strum happens with that middle finger still down on that fourth fret where you landed the slide, right? Then you're gonna play that fourth fret, third string, just one pluck. Now look at my left hand, move back to the second fret of the fourth string. Then you're gonna play that note, right? And then you release. And now we're in measure four. We just play the open third string, strum thumb, and then open fourth string. Strum, thump. Now we're going to do that slide again. Right? There's the slide. And also, here's another point about the slide too. Don't just do this. A lot of times students do this. They just, as soon as they pluck with their right hand, boom, they make the slide. Well, you got to hear, in order for this to sound right rhythmically, you got to hear this note that we're creating on the second fret of the third string. We gotta hear that ring out first. So you just don't, you don't wanna just go boom and just immediately slide as soon as you pluck that third string. You gotta, you gotta do this, right? We hear this note, then we slide. And that's why it's important to press hard because we're letting that note ring out a little bit and what's happening is we're gonna be losing a little bit of the vibrations of the string, right? So to ensure that we can still hear this note when we land the slide, you gotta press hard. Okay, so you're going, measure five, you're going slot, take two, slide, strum, thumb, and then pluck that third string, fourth fret. And now we come to measure six. Now, 
we take our middle finger off that second fret of the third string where he was for the last note of measure five. Boom, he's off now. Now we're gonna go open third string, strum thumb, then open, open fourth string, strum thumb. Here's where we are in the song. I'll just play up to measure six, the end of measure six. Watch. Now comes the game changer. Now we play a C chord in measure seven, right? We're starting with this note, which is the fourth string, right? We've got that C chord. This is a stationary chord that's gonna stay throughout all of measure seven. So we're gonna go, and then strum thumb. Now look at my right hand. Single pluck of the third string, and a single pluck of the fourth string. Now, left hand, look at this. Release the chord for measure eight. That was open fourth string, strum thumb. Then the third string, oops. Third string, strum thumb. Measure nine. Open fourth string, strum thumb. Hammer. That's exactly what we did at the very top of the song in measure one. So I'm not gonna really explain that. You've already done it. That's it, it's measure nine. Moving on to measure 10. It's easy. Third string, strum thumb. Third string, strum thumb. Measure 11. We're doing that slide again, right? And then we're gonna go single pluck of the third string fourth fret where we landed the slide and move back to this second fret of the third string. By the way, when I move back, you can, you, you can actually lose contact with the string. I, I'm trying to think. I, I, I don't lose contact with the string, but what I do is I lose contact with the fretboard, with the wood. So, with the wood here. So you don't hear, you don't hear the friction of the slide back, right? Because you don't want to hear that. We, we're not actually looking for that note, we, or this sound, a backward slide. We just happen to move our finger back here to the second fret of the third string. So, all of measure 11. Measure 12. That was all of measure 12. So it's open third string, strum, open third string, strum, thumb, open first string, strum, thumb, right? And then measure 13, measure uh, 13 begins with the open first string. And then open third string. So let me play measure, measure 12 and measure 13 together. Watch this. Starting with measure 12. Right? Now measure 14. We make a D7 chord. You can see. Uh, actually, no. This is a this is a D chord, which is it's not this. It's this. So the middle finger is on the third fret of the second string, as you can see, and then the index finger is right behind that finger on the second fret of the third string. All right. So we make this chord first. Then we play the first note of measure 14. We strum thumb. Watch this. Then we're going to take this dude off because we want to hear the open second string right now. This is the second to last note in measure 14. And then we pluck the third string with that index finger still on the second fret of the third string. And then we go to measure 15 and we wrap up the song. We've done that already. We did that at the very top of the song. Right? Open third string, strum thumb, hammer on the fourth string, second fret, strum thumb, and then measure 16. Easy. So let's let's look at this from the top. I'm gonna go nice and slow. There you go, long journey home. Have fun practicing.